Walter Ufer, born in Germany but moved with his family to Louisville, Kentucky in 1880 at four years old. Ufer was another one of the Taos Artist Society painters. He went to Germany to study painting in his early 30s, back to the USA and then again back to Germany to Munich to study more. In 1911, he married Mary Fredrickson, a fellow artist. They traveled around Europe painting together but came back to the USA. Carter Harrison, the Chicago mayor and patron of numerous painters, sponsored Ufer to head to Taos in 1914, where he met Sharp in Blumenschein. They became friends and he joined the Taurus Taos Artist Society Association. Ufer finally moved permanently to Taos in 1917, where he remained most of the rest of his life. His last 20 years, he befriended William Henry Clower of Dubuque, Iowa, who was a wealthy patron who owned the Clower Manufacturing Company that produced sheet metal building products and the famous Snowgo, a large commercial snowblower sold to many cities around the country. Clower kept Eufer financially secure in his support, although Eufer had a few negative things to say about this American industrialist, as Eufer was a socialist-leaning type who had also befriended Leon Trotsky. Eufer had some definite political opinions toward communist thinking, and Clower was one he spoke against. He nonetheless was glad to take Clower's money, and apparently Clower either did not hear of Eufer's comments, nor did he care. Eufer was also a moody character and developed a strong interest in the drink. He was an alcoholic and eventually succumbed to appendicitis at the age of 60, which caused his demise. His work is typical of other Taos artists in portraying American Indians, however, with a slight tendency to show more of a downtrodden sense of inequality and injustice. His colors and compositions seem to be very much affected by photographs, in my opinion, as there is a typical Taos Artist Society snapshot quality to many of his pieces of the Pueblo Indians. There were numerous others of the Taos Painter Group, although these are the main members of the society. This is the last one of these Taos Artist Society individual videos about this fascinating group of painters. I will make one more to recap the group and discuss my thoughts about their works and importance in the history of American painting. I will make one compendium of all of these. It should be a long one, but nonetheless you'll be able to see all of their works in a, a complete set. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons as this encourages me to make more of these Naked Artist Exposure videos. I am Preston McCall, and I appreciate your support. Thank you.